Good morning. Hello and welcome. It's Tracy Daviero from Your VA Mentor here with you this morning. Um, it is Monday. I know I'm not confused, but I am back to working on Mondays again in this uh, year of 220. 220? Do we call it 220? 2020. Anyway. Um, and so have uh, moved these to what is now the beginning of my week, which uh, was Tuesday for um, I think the better part of uh, the last part of 2019 anyway, June, uh, I think sort of June on, I stopped working Mondays and now I am back at it. So I am really looking forward to coming to you every Monday morning and um, sharing what I want to share with you here on our Facebook Live. So this morning we're talking about having a business mindset. So do you have a business mindset? One of the things that I find VA struggle with a lot is thinking like a business owner. We go into business, we're support professionals, I say it all the time, um, and we act like support professionals. We act like we still have a boss. And, and the clients that we work with are not our bosses. They are our clients. They're our equals. They're our business, um, just like we are. And so we need to act as an equal to them. And one of the things that you know, you'll hear me say often and you'll hear me teach about is thinking like a CEO. And I know that that sounds out of the realm for a lot of VAs because of the, um, which one did I take out? There we go. <clears throat> because of sort of the nature of our personalities and, and that kind of thing. So, um, but you really do need to think like the owner of your business. So CEO, if that doesn't really resonate with you, um, it's really about, you know, acting as a business owner and being able to speak with people on their level um, think in terms that you need to uh, in order to have your business succeed and be able to take all the steps that you need to take in order to run your business effectively. So a couple things I want to talk about today is if you have questions, because of course we're, you know, a lot of you are just starting out in business or if you um, are struggling in business, then it's kind of the same as, as starting sometimes is that you don't have the answers to what you need to do to move forward. You're not sure what to do. You're not sure what decisions to make. You're not sure um, really about anything, maybe to find the resources that you need or anything like that. And so if you have questions, the way to be a business owner is to find the answers you need. Learn about what you don't know. I say this all the time. Learn what you don't know. If you don't know how to do the bookkeeping in your business. You don't need to do the bookkeeping, but you need to understand it and you need to have somebody in place who can do it for you or you need to learn to do it. One or you know, one of those three things, right? Or, or two of those three things. You always need to understand it. So, but you do need to learn the business things that you don't know in order to have a successful business. So get your information from a trusted source. I really, I like the VA forums. I think they're great for support. I think they're great for connection and resources and that kind of thing, but they're not always the best place to get advice in terms of running your business because not everybody's doing things the right way. Now, having said that, you could, you know, you could um, ask a coach or, or, uh, another business owner and still get the wrong advice. I totally understand that, but you need to have a trusted source, whether that's a particular group, whether that's a particular group of people, whether it's a particular person like me or, you know, somebody else who has kind of been in your shoes and, and uh, that kind of thing before. You need to have a trusted source where you can go to ask questions and get the answers. And whatever that means to you, that's what's really important for you to have as the business mindset, maintaining the business mindset. Where do you go to get your business answers, right? That's really, really important. Um, the second thing is about making decisions. You're never going to move forward in your business if you can't make decisions. And so asking questions is one thing, but you need to take action on those, on the um, information that you get by making a decision. <clears throat> If you're not sure who your clients are going to be, if you're not sure who your um, target client is going to be, or if you're not sure what your rates are going to be, or if you're not sure where to do your marketing or where to, you know, network with people, whatever those things are, whatever those questions are, um, you know, you're not sure how to uh, collect payment or you're not sure where to find a contract, whatever all those things are, all the questions that you have. You need to be able to make a decision and take action on it moving forward instead of just collecting info, collecting info, collecting info, which I see VAs do a lot. And to be honest, I did it myself too. This is why I know it's such an important thing, right? Is that I, you know, I collected, oh my goodness, if you see the, the bottom shelf of my bookshelf, 
um, you know, it's tons and tons of, of training courses that I've taken. Hi, Cass. And um, it's, it's so important to be able to uh, make a decision to move forward because if you're not taking action, you're just consistently collecting information and really not using it or putting it into use, then it's not serving you any purpose. So you need to be able to be confident to make a decision and to go with it and understand that maybe you're not going to go in the direction that you thought you were or that maybe you don't like the direction that you're going in but know that as the business owner you're allowed to change course anytime you want now I'm gonna stick a little caveat in here which really has nothing to do with today's topic but don't change your mind every time you turn around that's one thing that's really important you need to stay the course for the plan that you lay out and then once you want to um, you know, once you know that something's not working, maybe you, you know, make a decision to go with the target market. Well, don't, don't give up after one week and all of a sudden, you know, start to look for something else because you're not going to move forward that way. You need to stick with the decision. You need to put a plan in place and you need to start moving forward that way. It's the only way to be able to ensure that you're actually moving towards your goals or moving toward the strategy that you've put in place. And then the third thing I always want to say whenever we're talking about a business mindset is it's really a lot about ego, right? We have our ego. We don't want people telling us that we've made a, a mistake or that we've done something incorrectly or um, even to judge us. Even, you know, going, getting back to the VA forums, if somebody asks a question and you think you know the answer, a lot of people won't even post the answer to something because they'll fear that it's the wrong thing, right? But whatever you have done in your experience, if you have valid feedback for somebody and you're able to give them some kind of a tip that you know worked for you, all you're telling them is that it worked for you. You're not telling them that it's the solution for every VA out there, right? So um, business is business. It's not personal. It's not something that, that um, I mean, and it is personal to us. I understand that because we set ourselves up and, and um, it's important. We, we invest a lot of money, time, and um, our personality and everything in our business. But the point is that business is business. And so when something comes to business, it's not about getting upset that a client is re isn't responding to you or that a client isn't paying you on time or that a client is, you know, uh, creeping scope. So they're giving you more things to do than you agreed upon. That None of that is personal. That's all business. So you want to look at it from the perspective that you know, that you are in charge of the business, you set the terms, you set the boundaries, you set everything. And you want to make sure that um, you're always thinking of it in terms of, of business. It's they're not they're not taking advantage of you personally, because they're not paying you. They're obviously having a business struggle of their own. It's all about business. They're not paying you because they don't feel like it. And even if people, you know, come back to you and uh, about scope creep or, or rates or or payments or anything like that, and try to make something personal honestly if you look at it at the very very basics it's always about business they don't have the money or they didn't communicate correctly or they don't you know whatever it is there's always something in there but it's always always business related so so try to step above step outside of the personal and look for at things from i'm it, it's very easy for me because i'm a logical person um and so i'm not a creative person right we have the right brain left brain all that kind of stuff and and so for me, it's easy to see um, where things are business and things are personal. And so I can see that line fairly clearly. And some of some people can't, some VAs can't. So again, I would say if you're struggling with something around that and you're feeling hurt or taken advantage of or anything like that, just stop and look at where your boundaries are, what your terms are, and be able to communicate with with your clients or with your colleagues whoever it is you have to be able to communicate with people in order to move forward and if you're struggling with that then get help with it learn how to do it or you know really like I say going back to the VA forums again I, because I know that that's where a lot of VAs do their their water cooler talk and their uh, conversation um, you really want to be able to ask the question but try to pull the personal out of as much out of it as much as you can. You're not trying to be inflammatory. You're not trying to say, I have this terrible client. Odds are that the client's not a terrible client. They're just having some kind of a struggle that you're not seeing. And um, it's impacting you. There's no question it's impacting you. But in order to maintain that business mindset, you need to say, okay, what are the facts here? And how have I invited this behavior? 
and how can I change this behavior? It's very, very important to put all of those policies in place and make sure that you are um, holding to them whenever you need to hold to them. So uh, thinking like a CEO, get the answers to your questions, um, make decisions so that you can move forward. And remember, it's always business, it's not personal. So if you don't have a business mindset, I hope these tips will help you and um, hopefully you are going to be well on your way to just stopping and thinking and saying, okay, what would the CEO of a business do in this situation and take action that way? So hopefully that helped you this week. I'm so happy to be back and uh, doing these with you and I'm looking forward to a really awesome 2020. Take care. We'll see you next week.